In this episode, we're looking at the Ethereum Messenger status. They raised over 100 million US dollars in June 2017. It's a mobile app for Android and iOS that should bring the power of the Ethereum blockchain to your phone. We're going to look what it can and cannot do with hands-on and in-depth programming examples. I've heard of Status the first time during a blockchain startup contest in November 2016. It was my favorite app idea back then and they were also one of the winners there. The idea itself of Status is still extremely powerful to me, even though it's still in alpha. With Status, you essentially get connected to an Ethereum node from your mobile phone. It means that there is a Go Ethereum node running on your phone or you get connected to one. You can browse, chat, make payments securely on the decentralized web. That also means that you should be able to open any distributed application on your phone and use it like a normal app. So distributed apps like Uport, Gnosis, Ethlands could work from your phone from now on. In our previous course, we were developing the game Tic-Tac-Toe, so it runs directly on the blockchain. We are going to try and run this game and play one round of Tic-Tac-Toe between a Chrome browser with a MetaMask plugin and status. Of course, I am digging deeper and show you exactly why this works or why this doesn't work. So let's get started. So I'm here now on the BlockTechToe website on my GitHub repository, the same that I have opened on my iPhone. And you can see here I'm in the Chrome browser and I have the MetaMask plugin open and I'm on the Rinkyb test network. If you want to know how you get test ether on the Rinkyb test network, then check out my other tutorial on my blog, which is about gas, where we are getting some Rinkyb test ether from the Rinkyb faucet. Now what I'm trying to do here is I will just simply create a new game, which will open up a MetaMask notification because I have to make a new transaction. I'm basically deploying a new contract onto the blockchain and uh, I will give it a little bit more gas. And then the block chain should uh, incorporate this new contract with the next mine transaction and we have our tic-tac-toe game waiting for an opponent and our opponent in this case will be our iPhone from our status uh, messenger app. So let's have a look here the transaction. Uh, it gets directly to rinkyb.etherscan.io. The transaction is pending and you can uh, see here as soon as the transaction is mined you can see that uh, it will be waiting for an opponent now let's see that the transaction is still pending I will pause the video and I will come back once the transaction is mined now the transaction is mined you can see that here and here on our tic-tac-toe block tic toe website we are waiting for an opponent and our game address uh, you can see it also here is the contract address. So somebody on the game side would have to enter this address into the join game pop-up. Now I have my iPhone here. Let me just bring this uh, over here and I will, so it's basically the same that you can see here is on the screen now. And I will click join game and I would have to enter the address and I would just quickly copy and paste it over Via, I usually do this via a messenger app with a friend. Uh, you just can use uh, any other copy mechanism or you just type it in. So let me just copy it over to the clipboard and I'm back in a So I've copied the address on my iPhone into the clipboard and just to check the last three characters are 64B. So it's, uh, sorry, 62B, so it's 62B and then I click OK and on the iPhone it should bring up a new send transaction or sign transaction dialog 
so I have to send 0.1 ether to the contract of our tic-tac-toe game. And I'm going to sign this transaction now. I enter my very secure password again and the transaction is sent. Okay, now I head over, oh, let me bring my iPhone out of the recording area. I head over to my ether scan for my address of my status account and I see that the transaction is pending and I'm coming back as soon as the transaction is mined and then we're going to have a look how this looks like on the iPhone. Okay, the transaction is mined and let's have a look how this looks on the iPhone. It actually looks pretty good. Let's have a look how this looks on uh, the uh, Chrome browser. It's also good. So on the iPhone, I'm waiting for an opponent and on the Chrome browser, it's my turn. Now I also see the game address and the opponent's address. Everything looks perfectly fine. So on the Chrome browser, it's my turn. Let's click on the left top uh, cell here in order to open this uh, dialog from MetaMask if it opens. So let's submit this here. And again, wait for the transaction to be mined. This will take a while. And on the other hand, you can or maybe cannot see my iPhone anymore. So what should happen is as soon as the transaction is mined, uh, it should turn over to uh, the opponent's turn waiting for opponent and the X should appear here as you've seen it. And on the iPhone, it should turn to your turn and there should be an O appearing here for the opponent's uh, cell is set. Now the problem is this never happens. And it took me a while to figure out why. And the problem is I cannot really debug anything here inside status. So what I did instead was I went into my source code and I did it the old fashioned way. So what I did was everywhere where I thought there should be a breakpoint, I added an alert statement with the object that actually gets uh, either triggered by an event or gets uh, thrown as an exception or anything else. So I don't have any logs. I have nothing I can really debug here on my iPhone. I've tried the status command line logs and the debug with debug enabled, but it just didn't work. So after a lot of digging, I found that the filters from Web3, they are not really working, uh, at least not for me. So what happens was I get an event object but because it's an error first function, uh, it throws an error and the file. And I have no idea why I couldn't really debug it. So I stopped there. Let me show you this in the code, how this looks like and where you can find this and eventually reproduce this. So let's have a look what actually should happen. And I'm here in my Atom and I've opened the app.js that you can also see in the GitHub repository. And I made some changes in order to really understand what's going on. So let's first have a look what should happen if you join a game. Now our Chrome browser creates the game and in our phone, we are entering address of the game. We are entering the address and then we say, okay, that tic-tac-toe contract is at this address and then we should have an instance of our tic-tac-toe contract and here we are calling app listen to events and this listen to events function should actually tell us when the next player is and our next player events function which is an from web free and truffle contract an error first function uh, receives the, the signature error and the event object, the actual event object, in case this event is triggered. Now let's have a look at the contract. When is this event triggered? If I join a game in our uh, Solidity file, 
if this uh, join game is called, then uh, the player joined event is triggered and then also the next player is triggered and the next player is always triggered with the current active player. Okay, going back to our app.js file, we see that on triggering the next player uh, event and catching this event on the JavaScript side, we have the event object arguments and the player. Going back to our Solidity file, if we look at the next player event, then we have one argument that is the address of the player whose turn is next. Everything is fine if we come into this if-else branch. Here, if the account, the, the account of our player is the account of the next player, then we set the onclick handler and we tell our player that it's his turn. Or else we say the opponent's turn. It's the opponent's turn, basically. Now, the problem is if we receive an event and there is an error and no event object, then it will never ever come into any of this uh, part of the code. Which also means that you can never ever have any turn in the game. So basically our game or any game or anything with events for that matter is unusable in status, unfortunately. I haven't really figured out uh, how Gnosis or Ethlands or any of the other apps are doing that and I would be very grateful and happy if somebody can tell me where is my mistake. Uh, just leave it in the comments. But for what I learned and what I usually do with uh, Web3, Truffle Contract and Solidity, this is not working for me. Now you know where you can find this code and let's wrap up. So this is my experience with the messenger status for iOS. If you had any different experience or you saw any mistakes I made, let me know in the comments. If you're interested in the course how to program this tic-tac-toe game, grab this link and the coupon code TOM9 to get the course for $9.99 or click this link below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.